Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to do a little vlog and talk to you about how things are going. I gave an update last week that we've started fostering a little baby who's in the NICU, a little baby boy. This is a relative to us, but one who was in need of a family right now. And so Andy and I decided that this is the right thing to do and that clearly this is what the Lord has for us. And so we've decided to move forward with that. Um, so we have been fostering this baby for about almost three weeks now. Um, things are going really well. The baby is improving in the NICU. He is growing and that's what we need is for him to continue to grow and to mature, for his lungs to mature and all of that. And he's doing really well. Um, so we are so thankful for everyone who has prayed and is continuing to pray for us um, and for this baby. That is something that I've been certainly doing a lot of, um, just praying and depending on the Lord to give me the grace to continue through this. Um, it's definitely taken a lot of time to go to the hospital every day, often twice a day, and feed the baby, do some skin to skin with the baby, um, just hold him and spend time with him. Um, he needs it and we've been, both Andy and I have been doing that. Um, Andy's been doing it as well. So it's been a lot, taking a lot of time, but we are so thankful for all of the help that we've received. Our church has really just stepped up and jumped in and I've had people at my house every day watching my kids um, to free me up to go to the hospital and spend time with the baby. So I am so thankful for just all that um, everyone in our church has been doing. Um, lots of folks have been praying for us. Lots have come and watched my kids. There's been lots of meals brought to us. Um, there's been folks who have showed up to do laundry. <laughs> And I am just so incredibly thankful for all of that and the way that the Lord is using his church to um, just encourage and to strengthen our family has been awesome. Um, our pastor has been encouraging us to rest in Christ and his promises. Um, so we're just so thankful for all of that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of emphasize the importance of the church. And if you are a believer who is not a member in a local church, I really encourage you to do that. It's something that the Lord has commanded and that he has ordained and set up. And that's something that we should be a part of. And it's clear to us that this is part of why, you know, the Lord uses means to accomplish his purposes and often you know that means is through his church so we are just so thankful for the help we've received um, which ultimately comes through the lord and it's the lord working through his people and using them so we are just so incredibly thankful to the lord for our church so encourage you to get um, plugged in and become a member of a really good local church so i wanted to quickly read a passage to you and it's from first John and I feel like our church has done such a great job of this and so I just wanted to read it to be an encouragement to you it's first John 3 verses 11 through 24 and this is what it says for this is the message that you have heard from the beginning that we should love one another. We should not be like Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brothers. 
Whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our heart before him. For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and he knows everything. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. Whoever keeps his commandments abides in God and God in him. And by this, we know that he abides in us by the spirit whom he has given us. So we're so thankful for the brotherly love that our church has shown to us. And we are just so thankful for that and how the Lord is working in them. So please continue to pray for us. Um, I wore my pray shirt here because we're doing a lot of that lately, which we should be doing all the time. Anyways, having that um, communing with God in that way and praying to him and coming to him with our troubles, with our needs, but also in adoration and thankfulness. So there will be a link in the description to this shirt and I have a code that you can get 10% off if you wanna do that. So check that out below. Thanks so much for listening to this update and hearing my heart today and I'll see you next time.